Hey guys, how you doing? It's Ron from ATSStats.com with your preview and prediction on Sunday's game between the Baltimore Ravens and the Dallas Cowboys. Hope you're having yourself a good start to your NFL week number three. Let's get right into this one in Big D where Dallas is going to be a one-point home underdog. 49 halves your total. ATS forecast system play. Going to see a tight scoring affair. Look at that. Even the computer pick doesn't even know what to take. 22.4 for Dallas, 22.3 for Baltimore. The over-under at 44.7. So we do like this game to stay under the total. The Ravens coming in 0-2 in the season, straight up and ATS. And their first two games have gone over the total. I did have the Ravens listed at minus 2.9. You're getting minus 1. So if you like the Ravens, I would take the money line. And if you like the Dallas Cowboys, um, I had it listed at plus 7.5, though. That's uh, that's a pretty high number for um for the Cowboys, so one and one on the year, straight up and ATS, and their first two games also have gone over the total. Chance of winning this game straight up, um, favoring the Dallas Cowboys at 52.3%, compared to only 35.7 for the Baltimore Ravens. And when I look at the Ravens' history in Big D, they're two and two straight up, ATS, and one and three to the under. And for the Dallas Cowboys, historically, last 10 games, not a lot of uh, success against um, the Baltimore Ravens. They're only three and seven straight up, five and five ATS. Six and four against the uh, to the over. They got the New York Giants in New York next week, so division game right there. And the Baltimore Ravens got a tough home game against uh, Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. So this is going to be a tough one here. And when I look at the uh, history between the um, for the Dallas Cowboys when they're facing a team that is um, below 500 at home, last 10 games, pretty good record: 10 and 0 straight up, 9 and 1 ATS, 7 and 3 when it comes to the point spread. And when you look at the first two games between these two teams. You can see in game one, a 27-20 loss. Uh, that was the Thursday night game for the Chiefs that beat the Ravens. And then last week, the Raiders go in and may, pull off the upsets as a almost a nine-point road um, underdog. So which Ravens team is going to show up? Now you have the Cowboys in week one, took care of business against the Browns, 33-17. They look very good. Uh, Zeke Elliott looked fantastic in that game. He was running like he was 20 years old. And then when you look at last week, man, they got spanked. 44-19 against the uh, New Orleans Saints. So uh, which Cowboys team is going to show up this week? And to me, when I look at this game, like all the numbers, all the analytics are pointing to a coin flip. And when I look at some of the stats and trends, I got a couple, I, you know, the thing with stats and trends, I can, I can probably, it's like a court case. I can make you, I can even make you a case for, for both uh, parties right here. Anytime the Ravens are a pick on the plus three away favorite coming off back-to-back -back ATS losses since 1996, they are 19 and three straight up. And for the Dallas Cowboys, um, yeah, a lot of numbers pointing to the Cowboys. They are 9-1 as a home team playing in the months of September. So I, I think if you're going to play the side, I, I, I don't think it's, it's a good proposition. I think you want to go with the total here. And when I look at the trend on the season, when I look at the, uh, the SBI here at the uh, Rain Report, 70.9% of um, NFL games have gone under the total this year. And I'm going to go with that trend. I, as much as I would love to take um, you know, the, the, the side on this game, I think the total is where you want to go. I'm going to go 44.7 as my total underneath the 49.5. Give me the under between the Ravens and the Cowboys and let's cash it.